Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name's Gina. The title of this video has probably got some of you wondering what on earth it's all about. The first and last time I mentioned Priscilla on this channel. That's what it's about. Going back into time, um, we all know Elvis met Priscilla when he was in Germany. He was, she was 14, he was 24. Um, he became obsessed with her, decided he had to have her in his life, brought her back to uh, America a few years down the track. Um, but bearing in mind at the time in Germany, he'd not long lost his mother and he was in a foreign country with only his father and grandmother and a few of his uh, entourage uh, living with him off base. Um, so it was, he we was pretty vulnerable, so you can sort of understand. But I mean, he had a, other German girlfriends. I don't know why he couldn't have, um, you know, <laughs> taken off with one of those rather than a 14-year-old. But anyway, it is what it is. And yes, I know people say oh, a lot of older men marry younger women, but the younger women are generally in their 20s, not 14. Okay, didn't marry her, but she was she was too young, and her parents, I think, were at fault by um, allowing that to happen. Anyway. It is what it is. What I'm now getting annoyed about is the constant, over the years, the constant um, focus on Priscilla and that side of the family. To me, when I think of Elvis, I think of Elvis and, and his mum uh, and dad uh, and his cousins and the people and the entourage, the people that were with him pretty much constantly. Um, up until his death, girlfriends and so on. Now, Priscilla and Elvis were married and got divorced about five years later. And to me, that should have been the end of it. They split up, she went off with another bloke, okay, she took Lisa, um, but Lisa was coming back and forth into Elvis's life until he died, which is as it should be in a split up relationship. And you sort of didn't hear a lot about Priscilla apart from the fact that she was um, got involved with Scientology and she'd um, uh, had other blokes, hairdressers and karate guys and what have you. Uh, and then when Elvis died, all of a sudden she was back, large as life, in effect, taking control of everything. And I thought, yeah, why are you get back where you came from? Who do you think you are? <laughs> You're Elvis's ex-wife. <laughs> yeah, Lisa was part of it, but then um, like I said, there just seemed to be this concentration. You've got uh, Elvis, uh, the book that she wrote in 1985, Elvis and Me. Okay, like most of the fans, I bought it and I read it and I thought, well, I have varying opinions. Um, that's her story and she's sticking to it. It sounded fairly believable. But then as time went on, other books and other information started to come out. We had this Elvis and my, Elvis, my dad, supposedly by as a biography of Lisa. Now, not written by her, it's written by two other journalists. So, again, we don't know how much truth in it. And there's a lot of sensationalism stuff in there. And we had the movie, Elvis and Priscilla. Uh, I don't know who was in charge of doing that, but I suppose that was mm, oh, acceptable. Um, now we've got the movie Priscilla. And from what I've heard about it, I haven't seen it. I've I'm not going to watch it because I think it would upset me. But there's just been so much negative publicity about it with a guy that um, playing Elvis, regrettably, an Australian uh, actor, so much taller than the girl who played Priscilla, who was very, very short. And as has been said on various um, YouTube channels about pe from people that reviewed the film, it, as if, it's as if uh, the woman, the producer, Sophia, whatever her name is, Coppola, and Priscilla deliberately made it look as Elvis to be huge, intimidating over over um, Priscilla in their lives together. And there are other things that, you know, Elvis has bad temper and Elvis has drugs and what have you. And that's just, no, that's just awful. So, um, I, and then I've got this book, Child Bride. Uh, and that was a real eye opener. I've got all these little markers in here of, of things that um, I wanted to read out, but there's just there's just too many of them. So 
some of you will have read it, and those of you who haven't, I, probably, I firmly suggest you should, strongly suggest you should read it. It's an eye-opener. Um, I guess my point in making this video is because so many um, Elvis fans who've got YouTube channels who up till recently were concentrating on just talking about Elvis and most of the guys are pretty good like that. They talk about the records that have come out, the, the Follow That Dream records, um, the Memphis Recording Studio, I think it is, another brand, and all the new stuff that's coming out and they review it and they talk about it and they review books and stuff that are about Elvis that have come out. But there's a few channels that have gone right over and they're concentrating on Priscilla and what Priscilla's doing. And for me, um, when you go down that line, you've got Priscilla and you've got Lisa. Um, Lisa married, I think Danny Keogh was her first husband, and she had two children. Was it Ben and Danielle? Now, Ben died. What happened to Danielle? You never seen her. I don't know what happened to her. Did she die too, or has she gone off and done her own thing? Is she still in the picture? Wouldn't know. Wouldn't, don't know. Don't care. And then she married Michael Jackson. No children there, just as well. And then she married another guy whose name I forget. And there were three children, there's Riley and the twins. <laughs> and and you got Lee, uh, what's her name, Priscilla and Garibaldi, and she had a son by him. To me, when you put it all together, it looks like some awful Kardashian-style soap opera. And I think, this is not about Elvis. That's her, Priscilla and her extended family, their lifestyle, their story. I'm not interested. I was talking to my ex-husband just not a couple of months ago and I said to him, do you ever see any of the Elvis tribute artists? And he said, no, no way. I don't want to see them. I'm an Elvis fan. And I thought, yeah, that's, that sounds like Wayne. He's got pretty strong opinions of thing, about things. And I thought later on, I thought, you know, he's right. Um, maybe not so much about the Elvis tribute artists, but he's right in that aspect when he says, I'm an Elvis fan. And I'm an Elvis fan. And my, okay, my channel has got other stuff on it about me, my lifestyle here, my arts and crafts, uh, my interests, um, and Elvis in person, uh, a tribute artist. <laughs> um, but the Elvis section of it, the Elvis playlists, I really don't want to put anything about um, the people that preceded, no, not preceded yet, came after Elvis after he died, and that's, that is the the, the, um, the the children, the grandchildren, and so on. I'm just not interested. Whatever they do, yes, it's a shame Lisa died. It's a tragedy that Lisa died. Very sorry about that. But really, um, I'm only interested in Elvis, his music, the books that come out about him, the good ones, <laughs> um, the films, watching his films again, watching the videos and films that were made at the concerts, there's so much about him and there's so much continuing to be found. Um, Baz Luhrmann has apparently found some film that he's going to make into another movie and we'll, I know the genuine Elvis fans will all be looking forward to that. But the other thing that upsets me is that, that Priscilla, with all her machinations, has driven a wedge between the Elvis fans, the Elvis world. We were pretty united up till now, up till recently. And now you've got the pro-Priscilla and anti-Priscilla and the Lisa fans. And I think, stop it, just stop it. Get back to Elvis. End of rant. I hope I haven't offended anybody too bad if I have. You can put your comments on them and I'll like them or delete them. Bye for now.